Good evening. We begin with the stunning development in the death of former Pittsburgh Penguins hockey player Adam Johnson, whose neck was cut by a skate in the UK. The on-ice incident, now a criminal investigation. Police in England have arrested a man on suspicion of manslaughter. CTV's Adrian Gobriel starts us off. A deadly incident that has prompted strong reaction across the hockey world. When you look at the video, it doesn't look like an accident. October 28th, a skate comes into contact with pro hockey player Adam Johnson's neck during a game in Sheffield, England. The former NHL player struggled to make it to the bench. He was later pronounced dead at hospital. A post-mortem exam confirmed he died from a fatal neck injury. As former teammates and loved ones mourn Johnson's sudden death, police in England have been conducting a criminal investigation. It was opposing player Matt Petgrave's skate blade that came into contact with Johnson's neck when Petgrave's leg elevated off the ice. Today, South Yorkshire police confirming they arrested a man on suspicion of manslaughter who remains in police custody at this time, though investigators didn't provide a name. When you don't intend to kill someone, but you engage in an act that is negligent or engage in an act that is reckless, that can trigger a charge for manslaughter. It hits very, very close to home when it's somebody you know, somebody you care about, so it's, it's made it extremely tough. Jordan Henry was Petgrave's teammate for several seasons. He's now struggling to come to terms with the accusations some have made against his former line mate. We sat beside each other in the dressing room, you know, just an easygoing guy, um, you know, fun to be around. You know, wasn't ever taking stuff too seriously, had a great time off the ice. The incident has now prompted some of hockey's biggest stars to lead by example and wear a neck guard, even though they're not mandated by the NHL or many other top tier leagues. I made my choice for for my kids and, and uh, you know, I want to stick around for them. So um, just trying to decrease um, the chance of injury. Neck guards at the highest level of the game will be front and center at next month's NHL Board of Directors meetings, though for approval, it will need the support of both the league and the Players Association. Heather. Thanks, Adrian.